Hi everybody, welcome to Race Star Wheels. My name is Joe Zoper. Some of you know me from the industry. I got over 25 years experience with custom motorcycles, custom cars, race cars, etc. One thing that we're gonna teach you today here at Race Star Wheels, how to once and for all do the proper measurements to make sure that you order the right wheels for your modern muscle or your custom project that you have at home. How many times have you guys bought a vehicle and you want to put wheels on it and you wonder what is the lug nut pattern? You know, some people, it can get very confusing, but we're going to teach you how to make it a very simple measuring process. What you're going to want to do, you take your tape measure and you're going to measure from the outer edge of this lug nut hole to the center of the farthest one away. So if you look here, all the way out to the edge to the center is four and three quarter which is, you know, typical Chevy lug pattern on most older GM vehicles. But if you want to purchase one of these bad boy little tools from Race Star Wheels, it's gonna tell you everything you need to know instantly and no second guessing yourself. You could take, put this in the hole, just like that, you pull it out and it tells you five on four and three quarter, which is what this is gonna be. It works for all these applications. It works for millimeter and standard in inches. The other thing that we have to talk about that's very important is backspacing on a wheel. Now, a lot of people don't know what backspacing that they have and they don't know what backspacing is. It's a very simple measurement that you can take with anything that's a straight edge. Right here we have a level, we'll lay this down. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna measure from the face of the wheel that bolts to the vehicle to the bottom of the straight edge. This is a five inch backspacing. One other thing that does get a little technical is knowing your millimeter offset. We have Mike from Race Star Wheels, he is the engineer here, and he is gonna help explain to you what millimeter offset means when ordering your set of wheels. How you doing today, Mike? Good, Joe, you? Pretty good, I see that you have a line here taped off. Can you tell everybody what that's for? That indicates the center of the wheel. Most of when your offset is measured, it's measured off the center of the wheel. So this is our reference point for the center of the wheel. Okay. This wheel being a six inch back, uh, six inch wide. Mm -hmm. This is at three inches. Overall width is seven. So this is still three and a half. Mm -hmm. So we keep that right in the center of the wheel. Offset is measured to the center of the wheel. Okay, so remember that everybody. So when you're talking zero millimeter offset, that is the flange of the wheel is dead center of the ring of the rim. You understand that's very important to understand that. Now explain to them if we have a 12 millimeter offset, what does that mean? Positive, now we're really gonna get you. What happens is that mounting surface in the wheel will go from here, half inch or 12 millimeter towards the face of the wheel. That's right. The front edge. Okay, now 12 millimeter here to help you guys out so you understand, you know, some of you don't know or understand the measurement of, you know, 12 millimeters. So, 12 millimeter, put a slash in it. It's roughly a half inch. That's gonna kind of get you in the ballpark. 24 millimeter, roughly an inch, right? right. So that's a, always a good way, you know, to figure out your millimeter offset to get you close. Now, go over one more time. Explain the difference between negative and positive offset. Okay. Positive offset is, this is your center line right here. Anything mm -hmm. positive is gonna come from here towards the face of the wheel. So like you said, 12 millimeter, we're gonna come out here now 12 millimeter. So we're gonna add a half inch to the back space. So that would make it three three inch from mm -hmm. the front face right. over here. Right. So on back here, since we were three and a half before, you're now gonna add a half inch and now you're four. That's right. And negative obviously would be the other direction. So negative offset is gonna give you a deeper dish. Cause let's face it, the first thing everybody's worrying about all the time they buy wheels, I want wide, I want big, and I want a deeper dish. So now you can understand. So if you're ordering a wheel, now this is mostly modern muscle. Is that correct? That we're worrying about millimeter yeah. offset. Yeah. For the most part on the older generation stuff, you're gonna be talking backspacing. So if you want a deeper dish wheel or you want that nice lip on the front, you're gonna want a negative millimeter offset. Yeah, and in turn, it will also push the wheel and tire out closer to the edge of the fender. That is correct. So this is why it's very important, you know, to measure your wheel well, and we'll be getting into that next. 
So now that we have learned a lot about backspacing and millimeter offset, one of the most important things is, is to measure the wheel well to make sure that the new wheel that you're gonna buy, you know, is gonna fit properly. Now let's be honest, whenever you buy a rim and a tire, you're always gonna wanna go wider. I mean, especially on modern muscle. But you know, how many times have you guys heard, you know, I ordered a set of wheels and they don't fit? Well, usually it has to do with this rubbing something. So how do we eliminate that problem? Well, a little extra information when you order a set of wheels would probably help. And one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna measure the wheel well and the backspacing of the wheel well. So you're gonna put a straight edge on where the rim mounts, okay? And you're gonna find a part of the wheel well that protrudes out closest to the quarter panel. And we've already looked and we found that right here, it's about seven and a half inches. So we have to make sure that your wheel and tire is not gonna go past, you know, roughly seven to six and three quarter. You know, you wanna leave a little bit of gap, you know, for body roll. Now that's gonna cover the inside, you know, so it ain't rubbing shocks or sway bars, brake lines or whatever you may have. But right here, we also wanna measure from here out to the wheel well lip. You know, you don't want your wheel sticking out past the wheel well lip. You know, sometimes it doesn't look that good. So we got here this measurement, I would say it's a solid two to two and a half. And remember when you order a wheel, a lot of times they'll tell you that, you know, like for this car example, that the wheel sticks out a half inch more than your factory wheel. So it's really a good idea to take your factory wheel, measure its backspace, its millimeter offset. So that way, when you compare your new wheel that you're ordering to your old wheel, it's gonna fit right the first time. One of the other measurements that you need to make is from the center of the axle to the outer edge of the caliper. This one's eight inches. Very important measurement, just in case you have aftermarket brakes on your car. Race Star Wheels needs to know that when you're doing your order. Another measurement that you need to do is measure from the face of the caliper to the face of the hub. Right here, we got a half inch. Important measurement to know for caliper clearance for the wheel. So after you've picked out a set of wheels and you know what you wanna go with, the next important thing is to know what lug nuts you need. Now, lug nuts are gonna be based on the type of wheel that you have. You have multiple style lug nuts. You know, here you have the acorn style, notice the taper. And then here you have the shank style. This is the shank that goes inside the aluminum wheel. Now there's obviously different shanks. So Race Star wheels will be able to help you to make sure you pick out the right one. But I gotta tell you, don't forget the most important thing when you have washers with your shank style lug nuts, make sure the wheel side goes toward the wheel. It'll say right on the washer. Now, how do you know what length shank that you need? Well, you're gonna take your wheel, you're gonna put your lug nut in there with your washer, and you're gonna make sure that your lug nut does not protrude out past the wheel. Good rule of thumb, you want it to be in 60 thou. That makes sure that it gives you enough clamping force to hold it onto the vehicle. And Race Star also has open face lug nuts for your race car guys that are running a longer lug nut stud. Once you got all the lug nuts figured out, it's definitely important to have a hub pilot ring. Now these rings fit inside the bore and Race Star Wheels is gonna wanna know your application and they might wanna know the measurement of the bore on your hub. So that way they can give you a centering ring to make sure that your wheel goes on properly and doesn't wobble. If you need help with the hub ring, Race Star Wheels will be able to make sure that you get the exact one you need for the proper fitment of your vehicle. 